In this video, we're going to go over the Simplicity Studio VS Code extension. In this video, we're going to cover a number of things. Firstly, uh, installing the actual extension within VS Code, converting an existing Silicon Labs project for use in VS Code, creating a new Silicon Labs project from a demo, adding the Silicon Labs projects to the actual VS Code workspace, and then building, flashing, and debugging within VS Code. Now there are some prerequisites for this video uh, to follow the tutorial. You'll need Simplicity Studio version 5.6 or later, and then also um, VS Code installed as well. So let's jump over to VS Code. Uh, right now you're looking at the Explorer. We're going to jump over to the Extensions tab and you're going to want to search for Scilabs, S-I-L-A-B-S, and you'll see that extension pop up there. Now there's a couple dependencies that will be installed automatically when you uh, install Simplicity Studio extension. Um, you're going to go ahead and install the pre-release version and uh, it should install for you pretty quickly. Now, if we go back to the Explorer, you'll see what it has added. You'll see a Silicon Labs support section down here that'll be populated once we start adding projects into um, VS Code. So if we jump back to Simplicity Studio, uh, you'll see I have a project open here um, that was created uh, previously. Now, what we wanna do is generate this project for use in VS Code. So we'll open up the .slcp file and jump down here to the um, target tool settings. Down here you'll see um, an option to choose your project generator and from there you can choose VS Code. So once you do that, you'll see on the left hand side it's going to generate three files uh, for uh, conversion into VS Code. So you'll see a make file, uh, you'll see a project file, and then also uh, a .conf file. So those are the ones that help do the conversion over um, for the project into VS Code. Now I also wanted to give an example of creating a brand new project from an example uh, here. So if we go to the welcome screen, you'll see that I have a device connected. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and start that up and look for some examples and demos that are compatible with it. We'll go ahead and just look for a basic Bluetooth. Um, go ahead and create that project. Um, hit finish and that project will be generated for you. Now this will be a, a very similar process to what we just did with an existing project. Uh, once this generates, you'll see um, we have that SLCP file. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and jump into that and then again change the project generator to um, VS Code. So it will uh, create those three files like we saw um, with the existing project. There we go. Um, again, you'll see the make file, project file, and comp file. So now we're going to jump over to VS Code in the Explorer. So if we go ahead and browse to our workspace location, um, we can uh, simply select those projects that we converted and add them to the workspace. Go ahead and trust the authors there. And now you'll see that they've been added to the workspace, but you'll notice also on the bottom that they've been added to the Silicon Labs support section. So your tree is standard, just like you would be used to in VS Code, but down at the bottom is where you get the Silicon Labs support. So the little wrench is build as we're going to do now. Um, the little down arrow is um, flashing and the debug, the little bug is the debugging um, interface. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to build. Um, you'll see an example of that. There we go. So it's successfully built. Um, now we can go ahead and flash it to the connected device. Looks like it was successful. 
And we can also um, debug as well. So we'll go ahead and click debug. Uh, and you'll see the um, debug interface here. So you'll see we're on the first function. You have all your standard uh, functions, reset, continue, step over, step into, step out, um, as well as start and stop. So we'll go ahead and step into a couple functions and show you that it works. And now we'll go ahead and run and go ahead and pause it here on a function. Now, if you look over on the left, uh, you'll see uh, your standard debug, Cortex debug items, uh, variables, local, global, um, those types of things, a watch list, um, your registers, um, call stack, as well as breakpoints, you can set um, the actual peripherals uh, on the cortex, as well as uh, the various registers that you get as well. I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you as you get started with Simplicity Studio for VS Code extension. Thank you for watching, and if you have any more questions or need more information, you can check out scilabs.com slash developers or check out the Visual Studio Code Marketplace with our publisher ID, Scilabs. Thanks.